I mean, I don't want to lie, you fit. I can say a gab. I feel like you're just making fun of me. Well, it just it felt like we were just making noises. I wanted to make a noise. I asked you about your fate in a, in a cool accent. It sounds mystical, like you found me in a hut in a swamp, and, and you walked in, and the door creaked, and, and looked at you with like a gleaming eye, and went, Have you heard of how you fit? And you'd be like, <gasps> Somebody once told me! Oh! The film! The world is gonna roll me! Oh no, the song! The song! I ate the sharpest tool in the shed! <laughs> Do you remember that classic film, All Star? <laughs> the, yeah, the one with Michael Jordan, and he plays the basketball. Look, this has gone really off the rails, because I was trying to do, like, a Disney thing, and now you're doing a, um, a, a Smash I mean, space, Mouth is Space Jam thing. not, like, a Disney property? I, guess. I don't know. Everything's a Disney Jam? property. What you're probably Luke? a Disney property. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It was just a... It was just a... It was just a... A, a wing bloke. A wing bloke? <laughs> it was just a wing bloke. That's what they should be... That's what they should be called in Elgato. <laughs> just a wing bloke, yeah. I'm going to ride the old wing bloke to the zone. <laughs> just really drive in the English nature. In any case... We are back, ladies and gentlemen, for another random, random, random hunt. This time decided by you. Why are we in this perspective, you ask? Literally no reason. I just thought it'd be amusing. It just makes it easier to see the comments, because they're down there. <laughs> yeah, because we're just looking down there at the comments. Yeah. So, the most upvoted monster random number was number nine uh -huh. by... Jack the Omni there 2127. My god, man. Thank you for watching, but change your name. Are you going to tell us what the nine means? Because that'd be fun. You'll find out what the nine means when it's stabbing you. Yeah, but I, li I, I, like, I like knowing what each of the numbers mean individually, you know? Now, next would be the one, two, three. Which game will it be? But given that nine today corresponds to a monster that can only be in Iceborne, we are, in fact, in Iceborne. Ooh. Oh, God, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> The weapon, the weapon, the weapon, as chosen by God of Juggle 8158. Damn, I didn't realize there were that many gods of juggling before. It is, it, like, it's a really like competitive. Oh, God! <laughs> competitive, uh, Hello. competitive godliness. It will yeah, be really weapon nice. number three. So, Cotton, What's you will be playing today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surely, surely if I'm not the one picking the number, we both have to play the weapon. You, you will be playing. Why is it just me? You will be playing uh, dual blades. Yeah, I can accept that. And then lastly, I will be playing. Okay. Okay. Come on. What about the rest? What about the rest of it? What do you mean? It's, it's an entire weapon. You were saying like the names of the people and everything for the other ones. And you're just like, and me, Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're just embodying the weapon already. Uh, it's Stormer Playson with number seven. <laughs> Welcome to the most mysterious of maps. There's no way I could ever guess what we might be fighting. Hey, you've got a strong 50-50, okay? So... Yeah, I feel like it's pretty strong, yeah. So, you know, you can't guarantee it. That hurts. Sorry, I'm trying Did to remember how to attack with the hammer. You just press the attack buttons. Oh, yeah, it's the attack button, look. It's the fucking attack buttons. <laughs> it's the attack button, my dude. What the goddamn weapon? <laughs> Stop it. Ow. <laughs> nice kegs of ale, my, my loony bin. Is that... How you would normally speak to people? Define people. Okay, enough of this. Stop hitting me with your dirty drink. They're not dirty. They're very sanitary, actually. That's why they're so much fun. I've sterilized my beers to the point that they're solid, because that works. I mean, yeah, th there's no way that it would be able to stay in here while I do these motions otherwise. But it's still so jiggly. It's like you've got alcoholic flat. I do like that you don't actually turn them backwards like you do most dual blades when you go demon mode, because obviously they'd just be pouring out the back. Oh, they should just be pouring out the back while you do, like, the demon mode run. It's like a stream. Just That'd be so good. Just yeah. leaving a little beer trail like a hunting snail. There's been a beer snail around here. What's a beer snail? A beer snail is a snail that leaves a trail that's alcoholic that you can follow it along licking the floor and then you can get drunker and drunker as you track okay, it. Okay, man, you sound like you're ready to start licking poisonous frogs. <laughs> hey, man! Hey, you don't try it! Okay, I won't then. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't try it, okay? Like, what would you want from me here? I admit it. Don't try it, alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that, yeah. All right, so welcome then to monster number nine. On, in what order? <laughs> Completely randomized order. That's what order. I can't handle it. Or is it? Oh god. Yes, it's worse, no gigante. <gasps> I said it. Not everyone agrees with it. It's definitely my opinion as well. Yeah, I just like 
Nerd Gigante is incredible, so worse Nerd Gigante is still like quite the accolade, but he Yeah, no, it's still a great, great monster. But, he like, didn't need to be this metal. He was fine as classical. He didn't need to switch genres. I was a big fan of his like his like back to basics bone music. You know people made music like 200 years ago. What? Like, you know people made music like 200 years ago. People have made music a lot longer than that. And we still listen to it. I mean, generally speaking, we listen to like recent recordings because recordings have only existed for so long, but the actual music itself, yeah, invented a long time ago. Dude, like I watched a video on recommended because YouTube knows me very well, apparently. Right. And I watched the video and it was, okay. and it was 32, because that's the good number. It's a good it number, was yeah. 32 classical songs that I know but don't know the name of. And I'll tell you, it was right on at least half of them. Well, yeah, but you also, you have that with a lot of songs, I feel like. No, 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 it was only half of them because I already knew the names of the other half. Apparently, I've got quite a good, uh, quite a good classical collection in the old noggin. I think that's because they're a lot more uh, able to be used as, as YouTube backgrounds. <laughs> And to be fair, they are technically considered classics for a reason a lot of the time. Like me. Yeah, old man. <laughs> Heebie-jeebie. Yeah, that's an old man word. Heebie-jeebie. I mean, when you say it like that, yeah, it sort of Good is. Good old heebie-jeebie. I'm so Don't old. Don't mind me. I'm just crouching in the corner drinking a potion. I'll be back with you in a moment. I don't remember that part of crouching dragon. Crouching dragon hidden potion. <laughs> crouching dragon healing slowly. I just don't know why I'm not allowed to bang this Nergigante. Because I'm here and uh, I don't consent to watching the... <laughs> Man, why you gotta stand in the way of truces? Truces? Why you gotta stand in the way of truces? No, you must fight. <laughs> why must everyone fight at all times? God! Make war, not love. <laughs> or at least both simultaneously. No, again, not while I'm here. <laughs> but I there's still a bit clear of war, on that right? You know, it's where, like, an army of 20,000 people take yeah, to a yeah. battlefield against an army of another 20,000 people, and who knows anything could just, happen. You know, uh, just, you know, b bash and bash. <laughs> a little bit of a pound and pound. Why are so many words that are, like, violence also, like, double entendres for sex? I don't know. Let's ask the... Like, we, we, we banged? Like, we banged? Like, that doesn't sound like a good thing. <laughs> Like, why would you want to do like that sounds like you hurt like you like you like you collided with each other and had a terrible time yeah like to smithereens got injured perhaps that one right to smithereens right yeah to smithereens that's a yeah to, to, to yeah to, to smithereens yeah the smithereens like hey baby mm. smithereens to shreds you say <laughs> and his wife mm, to shreds you say <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die. And his office documents. Mmm. To shreds, you say. <laughs> and his and his cereal. Mmm. To shreds, you say. Please explain to me why I can't mount this nerd gigante. Uh, he's too spiky. Oh, I did it! I did it. You did I it. did it. Uh, There's your it. answer. That's why you can't. See, mount my this current nerd predicament yet. is that I have no earthly idea what I'm trying to achieve while holding worse great sword. Have you tried just hitting the attack button? I have been doing that. Yeah, I just feel like my damage contribution is minor. Well, I mean, that's fine. As long as you're having fun, that's what matters with hammer. C minor. If we'd have been having a conversation revolving around music, then that would have been really funny. I guess, but we didn't even say C or minor. <laughs> So it wasn't, it wouldn't even I'm just have been saying it, like, something that if in a different situation had been happening, it would be hilarious. And now you can imagine that situation. I feel like that's not the tactic for making jokes. So maybe, maybe don't take that into your stand up career. Well, if you make a joke for every situation, then you're coming. No, because you're just making a joke for the wrong situation. Maybe that's funny in its own right. Like coming out the other side com comedy. So that, that happens when things are so bad they're good, which requires a self Exactly. Which is, yeah, but that requires a self awareness that I think was maybe lacking. Like, if you go on stage and dig such a deep hole that it can't help but being fun. Yeah, I mean, that's that's my style of humor. It's called making things awkward and then making them more awkward until people just, like, really just want to laugh because they don't know what else to do. You just gotta make sure the audience can still see you from your deep hole. Well, yeah, of course. You need to have a, a nice uh, a shovel with a, a glass case around you. Yeah, man, that makes a see-through hole. Talking of glass, the whole don't throw stones in glass houses, right? Yeah. What if your house was made out of tempered bulletproof glass? Then you'd be absolutely fucking fine to throw stones. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Josh, it would bounce off the inside of your house and hit you in the face. It's not that bouncy. It's not rubber glass. Well, even then, you'd still just be throwing stones at your own glass house. When's like, the last time you throw stones at glass? Like, what, what use would it do to throw your stone at the glass in the first place? Would you rather throw glass at a glass wall or stone at a stone wall? Stone, stone at a stone wall? Weirdo. Why? I feel like that's less likely to be a problem. <laughs>
You know, like, random cave, fine. Archaeological dig, probably not fine. You know what? I, I do realize it's the first time I've ever actually, now thought deeper about the throwing stones of the glass houses. And it's always in my mind been like, you know, if we're both in glass houses and you throw a stone at my house, I'll just throw a stone back at your house. But I realize in hindsight, they're throwing it from the inside of the house, and if they throw it, their own house is coming down. I thought it was, no, I thought it was the first one. Like, don't throw stones because you will easily be defeated by return yeah, of stones. But I think it might even be further than that, and it's your own stones could be what defeats you. <laughs> I hate it when your own stones defeat you. Uh, okay. Either way, I, I'm enjoying us ba basically being philosophers in this moment. I don't think that's quite how it works. I think that is like almost exactly like what the, the whole field of philosophy is. Do you think Socrates ever like made a profound statement and then turned to his fellows and went, Get a load of sucker these! Is, is, but also, I think he absolutely probably did. <laughs> like, I mean, you would, right? Like, wait, did they have the word these back then? Thines? <laughs> Actually, no, Socrates was fucking way, way before e fucking English was a language. <laughs> well, they spoke pre English, technically. It's called Latin, I believe. I, I think it was actually called Greek, my, my friend. <laughs> No, I'm telling you what pre-Latin is. You're telling me, or I'm telling you what pre-English is. You're telling me what pre-Latin is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Greek came after Latin. I mean, wouldn't Latin have been, like, Roman? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Socrates and Plato lived after the fall of the Roman Empire. <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember fucking dates and times. What do I look like? A calendar? It's such a, it's such a stupid expression. All right, protect me. I need to make sure I'm not an idiot now. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Ah. Okay. Okay. Socrates, uh, 470. He's hitting you. Yeah. Fall of the Roman Empire, 476. So very close. Yeah. They they pass like ships passing in the night, but technically speaking. Very very different ships, I would very argue. Very different ships, yes. Also, I imagine the end of Socrates' life was not necessarily uh, a part where he would have been paying attention to, to that at that stage. I have no concept of how well we're doing. Like zero, like zero concept. I think I'm doing like the numbers that I'm having feel like they're reasonably decent, but I have no idea how it compares to specifically Iceborne Runer. I I don't remember. All I know is that I have to apologize for this gameplay I'm providing. Yeah, I have to imagine you've not done a power charge once and I'm just trying not to be upset oh, about that. Oh, yeah! You do that and then you press circle. Ah, oh, I remember! And it, yeah, yeah. It I helps. It does, it does help quite a lot, honestly. I did it. Like, I did it's a power charge, really, so, uh, re There you go. Really useful to do. There you go. I did one once now, so you've, you've rescued it. All right. My, my big recommendation is if you just want, like, a, a nice, like, Rule of thumb, use the charge attacks and use the movement that you can do while charging them to your advantage and you'll be happy. Well, I'm just trying to big bang repeatedly. Yeah, I know that that's how you play Hammer, and I'm trying to give you a better advice than that's that. That's the equivalent of true charging, and I'm gonna do it! I actually don't think it is. I think it is just a full charge attack. I guess if you want to do the, like, the full combo equivalent. So you want me to power and then do the stationary triple charge? Uh, that, or you can do the double charge to do like an uppercut, which gives you a lot of ground. It's really powerful. All right, I've got a solution. That, that's not exactly. Okay, I've got a solution. This way, okay. this way, all right. No, not th this way, he'll regret it if he hits me some more. Yeah, 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 yeah. How about that? Huh? That was, that was pretty fun, honestly. Oh, oh, so there that you would go. have been so I mean, cool if idea, it got right? a flinch. Like, can you imagine? That's, that's the idea, yeah. Those are the those are the good moments when you can get those. Wait, can't I be sliding downhill and doing some spin? Correct. You need to do your charge and go down, do down to do that. Oh, my God! Yeah! Beacon! What? Bacon. <laughs> bacon! Can I have some bacon as my reward for doing a spin? You'll have to talk to the handler. She's the one with the oven. I wish we still had gods. What? Like, it's a shame, right? Like, you know, back in the day... You, you know we never had gods, Make right? your belief on story gods, like all gods are. The, we had, like, yeah. God of Lightning and Zeus. That's cool, fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Yada, yada. God of Thunder going over to Norse. Cool. Oh, knocked down. But, like, yeah. now we're in modern times. We have so many more interesting and, like, diverse things to have gods of. Like, there would be the god of the internet, you know, if we still, like, believe, if we still, you know, made stuff unbelieved like that. Right? Like, there would be so many, like, there'd be God of God of Cars. Isn't there, isn't, isn't that specifically, like, like, one of those things, like, I'm pretty sure that one of the main religions of Japan is specifically like that, where there's a God of literally, like, every object you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, but ancient object you can imagine, whereas we don't, we don't Well, no, have, I like, think there is, like, like, pencils and stuff like, like that. Like, what would the 12 Olympians be, the Dominions be in, in modern day humanity? It'd be so much more exciting. I mean, I feel like they'd still be quite similar, wouldn't they? Because a lot of those things are still the base concepts of everything, unless you want to add more. Games. Yeah, you'd still probably have like a god of war. Except the god of war would like have like grenades and shit. <laughs> 
mean, to be fair, modern day Ares would have grenades and shit. Nu nuclear arms. Literal arms that are nuclear. Like God of mutually assured destruction. Yeah, exactly. But no, Ares would find it really boring how modern day people fight, to be fair. Oh yeah, he would hate it. Because he's not so much the God of War, he's the God of the individual soldier fighting on the battlefield. Oh, uh, gas. Uh, spy. Why is everyone fighting with computers? What the fuck? Uh, intelligence. <laughs> uh, satellites. Like God of God of the uh, oil. Oh, the God of oil, obviously. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I am the God of factory farming. It's a bit depressing and shit, actually. Exactly. <laughs> the Poseidon equivalent would, of course, be the same, but for like fish farms. Dude, Poseidon would be pissed at the current state of the ocean. Like, dude would be fucking fury. He'd be fuming. I was told I was told I wouldn't be in charge of the underworld. What is this shit? Yeah. Gods of various aspects of nature, same thing. Yeah. Apollo would be like, you're doing a great job, guys. You're really getting us closer to my main goals. <laughs> Actually, you know, there's been a lot more sun than ever, thinking about it. Those spikes away from me, old man. Oh, no, Gigante. I thought you were still being Apollo for some reason. No, no, no. So, so, something about, like, the the metal spikes makes it feel like he's got, like, white hairs, you know? To be fair, this might just be old Nergy. He's a variant. It's not outlandish. Could just be, like, what happens when they grow these spikes for long enough, their healing power just overgenerates or oh, something. Oh, totally be a god of social media. Oh, yeah. That would just be Aphrodite. <laughs> Actually, be no. The exact no, no, no. Hermes would be the god of social media. Oh, yeah. Like, he speed, speed like imagine typing. how fast he would post. Like Yeah, he would just have, like, <laughs> he would one phone in each hand to just fucking go. Yeah, home. just fucking Hermes on Twitter. <laughs> and I guess the god of the hearth would be, like, the, the, god, the god of the gaming PC. God of RGB. God of RGB, yeah, the, R the RGB god. To be fair, you'd probably develop, like, a god or goddess of representation. You know, that'd be a new positive one to, to emerge. That said, uh... Greek wasn't very close-minded compared to a lot of modern society, so <laughs> that's basically already a part of it. Yeah, to be fair, Greeks didn't give a shit. No! Oh, no. He's exhausted looking at me while I'm dying and bleeding. It's like he knows he could kill me, but he's mechanically, mechanically not allowed to. I'm just doing my best to break these spikes. There we go. I finally got through them. There we go. Woo! -hoo. 170 damages. That's my favorite amount of damages. And if you do it off the charged attack, you can press left trigger to do the fun spin follow-up combo. You son of a bitch. I'm in. And that's like my favorite way to play Iceborne Hammer is just that, basically. The various charged attacks followed by that. Maybe you know how to play Hammer. Maybe. Oh! Oh no, I remembered the best way to play hammer. What is it? It's the it's the after you do a hit, you do the spin onto clutch claw. It's the one weapon. That's ex that's exactly what I was just talking about. It's the one weapon that can do that stuff. Well, that's exactly what we were just talking about. Dude, that's precisely what I was just saying to do. Yeah, I was trying to get you to do that. Okay, hammer deserves to exist. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too bad this is the only iteration of Monster Hunter that that is a thing. I feel like I'm the equivalent of like a really out of touch old person that starts the sentence of, I'm not racist, but. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like. I don't just like Great Sword, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's sort of like you're you're a weapon racist. You're right. And it's like, no, I play dual blades. It's like, no, but I I have an ex person friend, so I'm not. I'm you're not just a great sword supremacist. I have builds for like three of the weapons guys, so I, I'm not weapon. It's, just, it's a concerning. It's a concerning <laughs> comparison to draw. <laughs> I hate those sentences. I'm not being funny, but I'm not being racist, but like no offense, but I'm not being mean, but like <laughs> no offense, but like you're the ugliest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. No offense, but I'm about <laughs> yeah. to be really offensive, so hold on to your hat. No offense, but like the way that you breathe just really gives me the. Ick. Yeah, I don't mean anything bad by this, but die. Like I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, but like if your family were to just pass away suddenly. Jesus Christ. I love that it, it specify that it's suddenly. Like, you hate them so much, you don't want it to be, like, a slow <laughs> decline that they can mentally prepare for. You need it to be sudden. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, the, yeah, they shouldn't be able to prepare. They shouldn't be able to say goodbye. <laughs> like that. <laughs> just, just, exactly. Just <laughs> who's, who's ruining a Gigante related to you, you dark son of a bitch? No Gigante. Oh, okay. There's just a no Gigante over on Elder's Recess. Like, no! I guess in a roundabout way, you, based on what you tried to start this hunt by doing. You know, fun dual blades time. He took like a weird amount of killing. And I guess we're not really in, in, in proper builds. You weren't really doing hammer stuff for a lot of that. I grew as a hammer throughout that hunt. And you remembered how you wanted to play in the last two minutes. I did. I did remember how I wanted to play in the last. Just very cool. After I was explaining it to you 
for the one minute prior to that. I just found it really funny that I was trying to explain how to do that, and you were just like, "I've had a revelation." I thought you wanted me to do this, the, the the running, the running like spin, spin, spin. Oh no, no, no! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the next random, random, random on random monster, random game, random weapon. Ooh. All from what you name. Will we end up in Sunbreak or Generations Ultimate next time? Well, let's see, but it is down to you, so... <laughs> Give us some numbers! <laughs> yes, choose any number between 1 and 228 and comment it. Choose any number between 1 and 3 and comment it. Choose any number between 1 and 14 and, you guessed it, comment it. The most thummy up to each three categories... We'll decide our fate next time. Can we add an unrelated extra number just for fun? What, what would it dictate? It, we'll make it 1 to 303. And like, what, it's going to be your hairstyle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Now, though, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the Bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye <laughs>